Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I'll be explaining you about time complexity in the subject of design and analysis of algorithms. I so basically, you what is time complexity in the previous video? So in this video, we will learn in detail and uh, what are the different types of time complexities we have and with example. Okay, so first you already know this definition amount of time an algorithm is taking in order to complete its execution is called time complexity if it is taking 5 minutes or 10 minutes how much amount of time an algorithm is taking but usually in terms of algorithms we will not measure the time in minutes okay we will be measuring it in the order of n or n square like that I'll explain you with example don't worry so first in this we have three types of time complexities guys okay first one is the best case time complexity best case is nothing but if an algorithm is taking minimum amount of time for its execution then it is called as best case time complexity that is if it is taking less amount of time then it is called best case time complexity okay in general in general to be um, more clear suppose you have an algorithm one algorithm two and algorithm three all the three algorithms are designed for the same purpose this is for adding this is for adding and this is also for adding now this algorithm 1 is taking only 2 seconds to perform the addition algorithm 2 is taking uh, 5 seconds let us take 5 seconds of time to perform the addition algorithm 3 is taking some 3 seconds of time okay now among these three algorithms which is taking the minimum amount of time that is less amount of time the first one so this will come under the best case that is it has to take minimum amount of time okay next comes the worst case worst case means it has to take maximum so if, if an algorithm is taking maximum amount of time to complete its execution then it is called as the worst case that it, it is taking more amount of time for example here among these three algorithms which is taking maximum amount of time 5 seconds algorithm 2 is taking right so this will come under the worst case this will come under the best case are you are you guys getting it next average case so average case if an algorithm is taking average amount of time that is not less not more see here 3 seconds we have for algorithm 3 3 is not a minimum one not the maximum one as well so that is why we take it as a average case time complexity okay now let us take an example with linear search so you I guess uh, you already know what is linear search if no no issues I'll explain you uh, for example you are having one two three four five right suppose if you want to search for a number four okay in linear search what you will do is one by one you'll search first you'll search with the first element is it matching no second element matching no third element matching no fourth element yes it is matching so you will be searching element by element got it in binary search what you do in binary search and all there are some other searching algorithms right in that you will not do this one by one you will not search but in case of this linear search you will be searching element one by one this is linear search okay now let us uh, relate it with our time complexity first first case suppose you are searching for element 1 okay for each search let us take we need one second of time one second of time for each search it is taking one second of time now you're searching with one right you're searching for one and you found it in the first place itself that is how much time you're taking for this you're taking only one second of time right and next if you want to search for element 5 okay element 5 is not present here it is not present here it is not present here it is not present here but it is present here that is 1 2 3 4 5 total 5 seconds of time you are taking in order to search for element 5 okay suppose you want element 3 so for element 3 it is not present here it is not here but it is here for this it is taking three seconds of time okay now what is the best case time complexity first one because it is taking only one second in the first attempt it attempt itself you're getting the desired number okay now five will come under the worst case why because it is taking more amount of time okay this will come under the best case three will come under the average case time complexity why it is taking average amount of time okay 
that is only 3 seconds it is not minimum not maximum okay so this is about time complexity guys very 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 simple okay if it is taking maximum amount of time best case sorry minimum amount of time best case maximum amount of time that is one more time worst case if it is taking average amount of time it will come under average case okay very simple so i hope you are clear now we have actually two methods two approaches to calculate the time complexity of an algorithm okay tc means time complexity first is the frequency count and second is the asymptotic notations so we will be learning about these things in the next video next video i'll be explaining about the space complexity then followed by asymptotic notations and all okay so that's all for this video i hope you people are clear thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubt let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts